Hi, I'm Carlos Garcia checking in with you from Washington, D.C. Welcome back to my video blog. The thing I wanted to talk about today is this market. Is it a seller's market? People are talking about whether it's a seller's market. Not 100% sure what that means, but what I can tell you is that if you're thinking about selling and you had thought that it wasn't a good time to do so, you ought to revisit that assumption because the market is shifting. The top, top piece of news that I have to report about the market uh, is really the difference in volume of homes available to be purchased or listings. There are many fewer listings available right now virtually across our, our area in comparison to about a year ago. Whether you're looking to sell in DC, Maryland, or Virginia, it appears that right now there are many fewer competitor sellers. In other words, inventory is down. As a buyer, you have many fewer choices. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you're looking to buy a single family home in Montgomery County, Maryland right now, what you'll see is that when you compare the first four months of the year 2012 to the first four months of 2011, there are some unremarkable and remarkable differences. It's unremarkable that 1.4% fewer homes have sold year to date in comparison to the same point last year. Not particularly newsworthy. What is newsworthy is that in Montgomery County, among single-family homes, the number of listings available to be purchased is down 15%. In Washington, D.C., we ended last year among single-family homes uh, with 30% less inventory. This was in a year where we sold only 3% fewer homes, not that many fewer. By the way, in Washington, D.C., the number of homes sold started to grow once again. In other words, we sort of pulled out of the downturn in 2009. 2009, we ended up something like 11% up. 2010 was up also. 2011 was down just a little bit. So we've, we're already in recovery mode in terms of the number of homes that have sold. But what's remarkable in the district is that on the single family side, last year, we were down 30%. So this is to say that there were about just about the same number of homes actually transacted, 3% down, a little bit less. But those buyers who managed to purchase just about as many homes in 11 as had been purchased in 10, they had only 70% as much to choose from. To choose from. We were down 30%. On the condo co-op side, very similar in the district. As of uh, 2011, the end of 2011, what we saw was that listings were down 26%. And the number of homes sold was actually just about even, down 0.4% or less than half a percent, just about even. So this paints a picture uh, of a market where the number of homes being sold is sort of bumping along, uh, going up or down a little bit since uh, we started recovering back in 2009. What is remarkable is the number of homes available to be purchased. Inventory is down materially. That's it for today on the changes in our market. And uh, if you have any questions about this, give us a call at 202-290-1313 or look us up on the web. We're all over the place. The web is where, where you can find us. That's where we like to be. Again, I'm Carlos Garcia from Washington, D.C.